With the deadline approaching, all the buzz in the baseball world is what is going to happen with Shohei Otani. As the Angels have slipped down to two games under 500, as they have fallen to 46 and 48 and are nine games back of the division and six games out from the third wildcard spot after being as good as 40 and 32 earlier in the season on June 16th. This is why baseball fans are becoming increasingly interested in the idea of Shohei Otani leaving the Angels this deadline due to his expiring contract after this season. This leaves teams that want to pursue Otani and the Angels all in a difficult position because we have never seen a player to Otani's degree hit the market in baseball history. This is because Otani can be a Cy Young caliber pitcher on the mound while also being one of the best batters at the plate. All you have to do to see Otani's value on both sides of the ball is pull up his baseball reference page where you can see that he leads the league in triples, home runs, slugging, OPS, OPS plus, and total bases while also posting the second best ERA on the Angels which culminates to Otani having the league best R war at 6.5 and he could very well be on track to having the best season of all time by R war. So that leaves the question, if the Angels decide to trade Otani, what should they ask for in return for Otani? In this video, I will display three possible trade destinations and what the package could possibly look like for Otani. Moving to the first team of today's video, I got the Seattle Mariners. I think the Mariners are the most interesting team I've included because I think there's two ways they could get a deal done. The first deal I got has the Mariners sending over their number three prospect pitcher Brian Wu, number four prospect outfielder Gabriel Gonzalez, and number five prospect Emerson Hancock, and along with number eight pitching prospect Taylor Dollard. In the second trade, it's a lot more top heavy, giving up their number one prospect Harry Ford and number two prospect Cole Young, along with the number five prospect again, Emerson Hancock. Both of these deals, I believe, could get the Mariners the best player in baseball, and with this deep of a farm system, they have many venues that they could do to get this deal across. The second team in today's video is going to be the San Francisco Giants. I think the Giants are going to be sneaky big players in this year's sweepstakes at the deadline, which also includes Shohei Otani. We saw this past offseason as the Giants tried to make big signings by bringing in Aaron Judge and Carlos Correa, which both fell through, but I think it shows the Giants' desire to want to build another powerhouse once again in San Fran. And that's why I have them trading for Shohei Otani. I think in the deal, they will give up their number one prospect Kyle Harrison, along with their number five prospect Grant McRae, and number nine prospect Mason Black. This trade could be seen as an overpay, but I believe if the Giants want to get a deal done, they have to give up one of their top three prospects, Kyle Harrison, Marco Luciano, or Luis Matos. I think the one that makes the most sense is Kyle Harrison, and grouping that with two more top 10 prospects in that farm to add some more value will be enough to get it past the line and bring in Otani. The final team I'll be talking about in today's video and most likely option to trade for Shohei Otani is the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers find themselves now in first place in the NL West, and with some need for some pitching, they could have Shohei Otani fill that role while also bringing a bat. The Dodgers have one of the most stacked farm systems in the MLB, which is why I think they have enough pieces to bring in Shohei Otani. But let's jump into the trade, as I have the Dodgers sending over Michael Bush, Gavin Stone, and Emmett Sheehan. This trade would see the Dodgers sending over three top 100 prospects that includes two pitchers and an infielder who are all either in the MLB like Michael Bush and Emmett Sheehan or nearing their MLB debut within the next season like Gavin Stone. This deal could be seen as an overpay, but I think Otani is worth so much that they would have to give up these three prospects to get the deal across. I want to preface at the end of this video that I don't think the Angels will or should trade Otani, as in my video about Shohei a few weeks back, I talked about how we're watching something that may never happen again and might just be the best season of all time happening in front of us right now. And I think the Angels' best opportunity comes with keeping Otani on the roster. But if they do decide to trade him, which I believe they could, these three teams and these three deals in specific may be something along the lines of what we see happen. With that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.